hey, hey, just a sec, just a sec, just a sec, come on, you guys. What do you got there? We're supposed to be going out. Well, I thought by the time that we drive to McKay's and order the food and drive back, it would take a couple hours, so I thought you might just want to get right back to work. It shows, huh? Yeah, only to the trained eye. Oh, you're so smart. What do you got in here? What is this? Well, there's a little, uh, stroganoff for us. Mm -hmm. And a chilled bottle of vino. Very nice. And pizza for the kids. I'm thirsty. Okay, well then, um, listen, by all means, I think you guys should go raid the, uh, the vending machine. Just do me a favor. Don't give your brother anything with caffeine, all right? There you go. <laughs> okay, Be careful. Thanks. Come on, Jamie. Famous last words. <laughs> we scrape him off the ceiling by doing that. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for the break, honey. I really need it. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing that a couple of days of sleep would affect. Hmm. Oh, I'm up to my eyeballs and story ideas. Oh, my, I got the most incredible video tape. I want to do an entire hour, okay? Devoted to the idea of safe kids. Okay, what to do, how to teach them to be street smarts. Right here. Wow, I, are you producing this solo? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we changed the, the rules around here. It seems if I want Liza's job, I'm just going to have to take it. We just declared all out war. You got a sec? Sure. Uh, listen, we're sorry the boys got in your way. They told us what happened. No problem. We had sent them to the vending machines. Yeah, but uh, Jamie tends to be a bit of a wanderer. He's adorable, really. Thank you. Thanks. Well, they, they won't bother you again. Oh, no. There's no bother. He has Tad's smile. Mm, and he's already learned how to use some of his charms, I see. Well, he comes by it naturally, doesn't he? Well, there's no excuse for being where he doesn't belong. Well, children aren't the only ones who make those mistakes. Well, we'll uh, let you get back to work. Dixie, is Junior okay? Yeah, he's fine. Why? Well, he seemed uh, kind of upset about Jamie being here. Oh, what did he say? He can be rather blunt. Uh, no, no harm done. I think that the kiss is still very much on his mind. He'll forget it. You think he can? Yeah, we're dealing with it. Well, listen, I don't know if you've eaten, but uh, I brought plenty. I thought you might want some. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I haven't uh, really had time to boil water lately. So I hear. Uh, yeah, let's go check on the kids, okay? Okay, goodbye, Liza. Tad, could I have a minute? No, no. No, it's all right. Listen, I'll just go uh, track down the kids. I'll be right there. Okay. I put on the party face for your wife, but really, I gotta say something. WRCW is a television studio, not one of those play zones. This is no place for children. My children are none of your business. They are when they're running wild through the studio. They weren't running wild. And last I heard, Adam still owns this place. Junior just happens to be his kid, too. Well, I can't really afford the distractions, as yummy as they might be. And, uh, what do we hear? Canned cream of something with crunchy bits? Uh, totally resistible. Touche. You'll never understand what Dixie just did. I guess it's just beyond your what's-in-it-for-me mentality. You know, do me a favor, Ward. Keep June, Wally, and the Beaver out of my way. My family stays. And if you don't like it, that's just too bad. I'm still your superior. Not for long. We don't need children at the studio, Tad. We don't need the lawsuits. Lawsuits? What's Adam gonna do, sue himself? Or better yet, why don't I do it? That way I could blow any chance I have of grabbing your job. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Like I said, the kids are my responsibility. Children aren't the only ones that could get hurt around here. A careless word, a gesture, and Dixie's safe little casserole world comes crashing down around her. Not a tremor. Yet. Don't mess with my family. Too late. You want to crawl around down there, get dirty? I can't too. You know, you threw out the rule book when you went after my child. This isn't about your precious. No, job. then what's it about? Is it about you and me? Wild, untamed, steamy, sweaty Stop it. sex? My job was not on your mind when you were in my bed. Your 2.5 kids, your wife, and your picket fence, they went up in flames that night. I'm the part of you you can't bury. 
No matter how many PTA meetings you go to, the dangerous no safety net dad. I want you out of here. You're poison to this station. To the station? Or to you? Oh, dear. Uh, my timing appears to be dreadful. No, Marion. Actually, for the first time in your life, it's perfect. Mmm. Bay bay. Mm. Beat some McKay's burger any day of the week. I wasn't sure you were going to have an appetite. Yeah, well, Liza's her best to see to that. Hey, listen. If you guys are busy, aren't busy, if you're finished, we just happen to have a new video game down in the staff lounge. Yeah, uh, line up for quarters. Just, like, just so you know, here's three for you. Nobody's been able to get past the third level. Till now. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, one condition. You guys stay away from Miss Colby, okay? That is definitely Adam's kid. Hey. Huh? It's gone. What? The little vein that sort of pops out of your head when you get angry. Yeah, well, zero hour has passed. What did Liza want, dare I ask? <laughs> to put me in my place? For now. Don't freak, okay? I've got everything under control. Tad, don't pretend that I'm not part of this. I mean, I was there for Liza's I've got the upper hand speech. Yeah, well, she was just blowing smoke. And tonight? Tonight is different because we have the stakes. Now we're playing by Adam's rules. No retreat, no surrender. We both produce shows, and he who comes in with the highest numbers gets the brass ring. Liza's job. Yeah, and I don't intend to lose to her again. So that's what the tapes are all about. Uh-huh. The videotaped the therapy session upstate at, uh, at Glenberg Penitentiary. How's this sound? Convicted offenders tell parents everything they need to know. It's sickening, it's disgusting, but it's very powerful. The way I see it, it's kind of like it's teaching folks what they need to know from the inside. Are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Look, this job should have been mine from the get-go. You know, honey... Whether Liza is here or a million miles away, she's she's no threat to us. It's not about Liza, okay? I'm just tired. I've done... I'm sick of the happy host routine. I think I deserve this chance, that's all. <laughs> you got my vote. I am sorry. Look, don't you remember what it was like when I first started producing? We had dinner at home every once in a while, you know? We had a life. Well, we still have a life. Please don't make yourself crazy about this. No. Crazy time has passed. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for all of us. With you beside me, I can't be stopped. <laughs> so call me later, okay? Yeah, just as soon as I get the chance. Now listen, you two go straight to bed, okay? We'll wait up. No, you won't. It's late. I'll tell you what. I'll pop in and check up on you just as soon as I get home. And meet a story? Oh, I don't know. It might be a little too late for stories there, kiddo, but we'll do it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm on story duty tonight. But you don't do all the parts. Well, you'll just have to suffer through. Come on, let's get out of Daddy's way for a while, all right? Hey. Wait up. But your work. Nah, forget it. I got stories to read. <laughs> oh, come on. What about the tapes? No, I got through most of it already. Look, see? I will just finish up tomorrow, put it right there in a safe place, come in early and hit the ground running. You sure this won't mess you up? Au contraire. There's no better way to keep myself from short-circuiting. Tonight, it's the ghost of Sinbad. Yeah! It's off to Treasure Island with you, little mateys. Come on, you, uh, <laughs> coming, wench? I love you. Yeah? It's a good thing, because later on, I intend to have my way with you. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Where the hell are they? Lose your kids again? My videotapes. What have you done with them? Studio's full of tapes. They were in my office. I was reviewing them last night. Now they're gone. I need them for a show. Well, then you should have been more careful. I was careful. I put him in some place safe. Obviously not safe enough. Oh, man. I should have expected this. It is... 
it's 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 just your style you know you couldn't possibly play it straight be up front could you an ethics lecture from you i want my videotapes in my office now i don't have them ask a pa or better yet call home maybe chip and ernie took them expecting the little mermaid my kids know better <laughs> steve see come here <clears throat> did um did you by any chance take any videotapes out of my office we pick up all the copies laying around, we take them to editing. What a coincidence. Well, I tell you what, you go back to editing and you tell Mitch I want him back. Oh, okay? it's too late. He erased them first thing this morning. Oh, that is... I, I, oh, man, this is just... You... Don't you ever, ever go in my office ever again and take anything out of there without my permission, okay? It's off limits from now on. But Dad, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've fine. done it lots of times. I'm really sorry. Go on, get out. Get out. <laughs> Oh, man. Mr. Soft. That's it, Steve. You put him up to it. Prove it. I don't have to. It's got your handwriting all over it. I have more to do with my life than babysit some glorified office boy. You don't like it? Fire him. Okay. Okay, fine. I wanted to play this straight. Just you and me, head to head. Again? But you've got to twist the rules around, right? Just make up more as you go along, something like that? I win. I don't make excuses. Oh, Liza, well, this isn't over yet. It hasn't been over between us for a long time. Has it, Dad? <clears throat> is it uh, warm in here or is it just me? What are you doing here, Mother? Preventing a war? Well, don't get too comfortable, Marion. Family's no longer welcome in the studio. Liza's rule. Oh, my, my. <laughs> 